In this video, I'm going to show you how you can withdraw from Binance. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on Binance, please check out everbithelps.co.uk. If you're trading crypto over on the Binance Exchange, it's important not to keep your funds stored on there for the long term. As with an exchange, you don't have access or control over your private keys and are therefore entrusting a third party to. Also, an exchange which holds a lot of assets are far more likely to get hacked. So it's therefore recommended to move your crypto from the exchange and into the safety of a wallet once you've finished trading. One of the safest wallets would be the likes of a hardware wallet, such as a Ledger or a Trezor, where your funds are kept offline and away from any potential threats. Or maybe you have an online or desktop wallet. Well, in this tutorial, I'll show you a step-by-step -step to withdrawing your crypto from Binance. And if you don't already have a Binance account, I'll pop my link in the summary below. And you'll want to head across to Binance.com and head across to your wallet in the top right-hand side of the screen here. Then go down to Fiat and Spot. And this then displays a list of all your available Fiat and crypto balances. Now I've got some Sushi tokens that I'd like to withdraw. So if I head across to the right of Sushi and select Withdraw, and then take into the Withdrawal screen. So from here, you can see that I've selected crypto. The coin that I'm choosing is the Sushi coin. It tells me my total balance and available balance. Then over on the right hand side of the screen here is where I then need to put in my recipient Sushi address. So in this example, I'm going to be withdrawing to my Ledger hardware wallet. If you don't already have one of these or a Trezor, then I'd certainly recommend investing into them as they're considered the safest options for your crypto. I'll pop some links below and there should be some great Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals happening right now for those too. So if I just head across to Ledger Live now and go to my Ethereum account and receive. And this is because I'm sending Sushi, which is an ERC20 or an Ethereum based token. So I'm going to copy my Ethereum address here or I could use the QR code using my mobile. Then if we head back to Binance.com and paste in the address, it then shows me my transfer network. And it gives me a reminder here, for the safety of your funds, please confirm again that the network you wish to use is ETH. Then under amount, you can simply type in the amount of those tokens that you'd like to send, or you can head on to max. And in here, it's showing me that the fee is 2.44 sushi, which equates to $4.05. And on Binance, depending on the type of cryptocurrency that you're withdrawing, there are minimum withdrawal values, and there are also withdrawal fees associated. Then once you're aware of the transaction fees and how much you'll actually receive, you can go ahead and submit that withdrawal. And this would work the same with any platform or wallet that you're sending crypto to. For example, if I wanted to withdraw a token such as Algo, and I wanted to send that to the likes of Coinbase so that I could trade it, as I know that the token is supported there, I could simply head across to Coinbase and click on to receive. Select the correct cryptocurrency at the bottom here. Then simply copy the address and paste that in. And here you can see that the fee is completely different with Algo. And withdrawing fiat works in exactly the same kind of method. Simply head across to your fiat balance, select withdraw. It's then selected my type of currency, which because I'm in the UK, that's GBP. It's letting me know my fee is at £1.50 and a minimum amount of £20. 
and you could then continue using the steps shown on screen to cash out any profits that you have. So that's concluded how you can withdraw from Binance. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step by step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.